So I grew up in Liverpool, in, in Liverpool Aid, which is now known as Toxted. And we used to have sound systems in Toxted. And Liverpool has the oldest black community in Europe, which comprises of West African, Caribbean, and now there's East Africans coming in, yeah? So the culture's always been mixed. But in the 70s, when I was a teenager growing up, um, we used to deal with sound systems, and that dealt with people DJing and people flowing poetry. So I loved the style. My mum my used to tell us Caribbean stories when we were youths growing up. So I was immersed in the culture. And dub poetry is poetry where the poet has formed the words to a reggae beat, but not to a specific reggae beat, because DJing uh, and toasting, as it was called, the DJ would take a popular rhythm and would, you know, interpret their lyrics over that particular rhythm. But the dub poets took the words and the ideas and develop the rhythm within the words without having any music. So when you hear the poetry, you can hear music in there. Because I've toured many times, and I remember one time I was touring with Benjamin Zephaniah and Desmond Johnson, and we were in Munich, and we were playing this huge venue in Munich, and the place was packed, and there was no music whatsoever, and we, was doing the poetry and people were dancing in the audience. So, yeah, so dub poetry. I'd, I'd still see myself as a dub poet. But I hope the audience get out of it. Um, the fact that there's just regular people like themselves who are on stage performing poetry, which means that they can do it. And for them to hear someone else's point of view and to learn stuff about people from, you know, other walks of life because it's open to everybody and you know there's no partiality um, anyone's welcome so long as you can put words together and you feel that you can express yourself and have the confidence to get up in front of other humans and do so then there's no problem